On another matter, a bit of drama this week on a couple of fronts regarding flags or uh, the use or, or lack of use of them. Yeah, these issues can really fly, can't they? Anyway, pardon the pun, it's all about flags this week. <laughs> there was the controversy over the $25 million cost of the Aboriginal flag going on the Sydney Harbour Bridge and the hypocrisy of New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet having condemned Labor's suggestion to put the flag on the bridge in 2018. Greens leader Adam Bant shocked many yesterday by having the flag removed prior to his press conference. You chose not to stand in front of the Australian flag. Why is that? Well, I think we've got a lot of work to do in this country to tell the truth. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do to overcome the um, uh, racism and dispossession that many First Nations and uh, Torres Strait Islander and Indigenous people face. We should start to fly the First Nations flags in Parliament. It's time to understand that the uh, history of this country and the symbols that represent the history of this country are very hurtful to the First Nations people of this country. 12% or about one in eight Australians voted for the Greens at this election. The Greens have the balance of power in the Senate. I'll be interested to see if all of those voters are happy with Adam Bant's actions there, Kieran.